Hello, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. I'm Joe. Time for another Whiskey Wednesday review. This week, I'm reviewing the Armoric Single Malt Classic. This is from the Warringham, Warren, Warringham Distillery, and it's a French single malt. It's my first French whiskey that I've reviewed. So they actually make quite a range, uh, the Warringham Distillery. Uh, this is their classic, and I was recommended this um, by Ian Buxton in his book, 101 World Whiskies to Try Before You Die, which is a really good little book actually. Um, so if you like your whiskies and you want to kind of try a little bit of experimentation with different world whiskies, check it out. There's one on um, standard whiskies as well. Um, so yeah, this is a single malt, which means it's made from 100% malted barley. It's 46%, it's non-shill filtered. They use French barley, a little bit of Breton oak, which is the local oak, and refill bourbon barrels. 46% colour-wise, pour it out. Nice, healthy drum. What I do notice about this, and it's really sad, I quite like the cork on this. Don't know why, just quite a, quite a nice cork, I'm just thinking, oh, I'm just thinking out loud there. <laughs> I just like the cork on the bottle. And it's a pretty cool box as well. Um, got a little dragon on, it's kind of embossed design as well. And it's kind of cut away, cut away there as well. Just quite like the box. So yeah, 46%, non sure filtered. Let's get to the whiskey. Colour wise, I like gold, slightly amber. Let's give it a nose. Ooh. Ooh. Now on the nose. Mmm. It's a real, there's a real nice earthiness to it. Mm. Earthiness, yeah. Kind of salted, earthy peat. You can definitely, definitely tell it's kind of peated malt. A kind of slight dry biscuitiness, kind of dry roasted barley. Sweet, kind of sweet wood resin. Let's give it a wake it up a bit, wake, wake the spirit up. By the way, let me know your thoughts. I know some of you in, in my videos previously, last year, a couple of you commented how I swirl a bit too much. Um, I've heard you should swirl, I've also heard you should just twist like that. Uh, let me know, let me know what you do, um, let me know what you've heard from various whiskey scholars or distilleries, you know, what should you do? Should you swirl like that, or should you gently coax the whiskey around the glass? I just quite like giving it a swirl. Getting more wood smoke now. Kind of definitely get that kind of bourbon note. That kind of sweet, oaky vanilla. But it's that kind of nice earthiness, it's a real kind of pleasant, kind of autumnal smell. This reminds me of autumn, definitely. Right, let's give it a taste.
Ooh. Right. The first thing I get, again, that kind of earthiness comes through. A little bit leafy. And then a little bit of citrus note comes through. I'm thinking kind of tangerines, um, a little bit of green apple, so kind of Granny Smith's. Also a little bit of spice as well, so there's cloves there, and there's a little bit of black pepper as well. Wow, it's good. All right, let's give it another taste. Now the second taste, I'm getting salty honey, so there's a definite honey note to this one, but with a saltiness, a little bit of green apple coming through again, it's quite fresh, um, there's no age statement, but if I had to guess, I'd say this is probably an area between probably 8 and 12 years. It definitely feels like there has been some generous, you know, aging to it. So, a bit of zingy citrus, spice, a bit of meatiness now. Starting to remind me of kind of a talisker. So kind of the kind of meatiness, the sausagey notes, a bit of kipper. I know that's quite an overused word when describing those kind of whiskies. But definitely get a meatiness. All right, let's give it one more taste for the finish. Mm. Now finish. It's warming. Feels, it feels familiar, so it's quite friendly. Get a bit of clove and get a bit of cinnamon spice on the finish. I really like that. Really like this. this is another one that I got and kind of drank a little bit of the bottle with some whiskey loving friends. They all liked it. And my kind of conclusion to that one, solid, solid eight out of ten, by the way. So Seek it out uh, if you're in France or I haven't seen this in England anywhere. So I'm not sure if you can get it in England. Uh, I got it from Paris. Um, so Seek it out. They do a couple of others, but I highly recommend this one. This is the classic. I'll show you there. Classic. Oh, I'll pull down. I'll just show you the bottle. From the Waringham Distillery, the Armoric, the classic. General conclusion is if I had to compare it to more well known whiskies, I'd say it's a cross between Kilcoman and Talisker. So it's got the kind of the earthiness and the kind of the peatiness of Kilcoman, but then the kind of meatiness and the sweetness and pepperiness of Talisker. So it's like those two combined. Eight out of ten, solid out. A solid 8 out of 10 for the Armoric Classic. Please let me know if you've tried it and leave me a comment below. And I'll see you next week, guys. Cheers.